Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Lobotomy Corporation. Today, we have quite the task at hand. Uh, today's mission, today's goal, is to complete Gabura's last mission and try our hand at a midnight ordeal. I'm not positive that we're going to be able to do it yet. Part of me almost wants to hold off until we can get some of our employees at a higher level so that everybody can kind of start with a little bit of an advantage because I'd like to have as many people on hand as possible to do it. But at the same time, we have to take a lot out because they're just going to die. Like, I mean, we couldn't we couldn't handle some of these Aleph suppressions and I imagine that the Midnight Ordeal is going to be Aleph, right? Because Dusk was Vav and one more is going to be Aleph. So we're going to be dealing with an Aleph level threat. If you guys couldn't even handle the regular ones, uh, well, I'm kind of afraid to see how you do with this. I'm not sure yet. We're, we'll figure it out. It's definitely not going to be this day that we're about to do, I can tell you that much. Uh, I'd like to get everybody into some gear. Uh, Morgan, you might stay in this. I know that I said I wanted to have... Where is she? Magical girl in it. But the more that I think about it, the more I think I'm better off keeping you in it for now. I think I think that's what I want to do. We can put you in we can put you in this. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're fine for right now. We're okay for right now. Um we do have a new abnormality down here. I feel like these guys are a little bit too level to be the right fit for that. So, I actually am going to trade them back out. Antonius and Demo, you guys can go down here. I think that's going to be better for us. Because you're not quite as leveled as they are, and I'd like you to be able to handle the Aleph's if we need to. Rachel, we, we've decided that you're good there. Carly, you're good over here. I think we're fine like this. I think we're fine like this. Uh, Alright, well, let's just jump right into it. Uh, let's see what this day holds for us. So we do have this new abnormality that I would like to work with a little bit if possible. Um, Antonius, let's get you in there. Let's see what happens. Repression doesn't seem great. to take kind of a lot of damage. It draws a weak to red. Uh, okay, well, Demo, tag it, tap in. Uh, let's buy a couple of these guidelines. When the work result was normal, the clever counter reloaded with a normal, or with a low... Okay. <laughs> uh, when the clever... Oh my god. When the work result was normal, the clip off lowered with a low probability. When it was bad, it lowered with a high probability. Okay. Uh, when the clip off reaches zero, it began crying. Well, there it goes. Let's 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 pause for a second. Uh, it began crying. Employees who heard its wails complained about headache. Oh boy, the clip off counters of all nearby abnormalities gradually decreased. When it was in a crying state, only redacted work could be done. Uh, was selected by roulette for redacted work. Okay. Antonius or Dima, let's see who it is. Okay, Antonius, you got it. I'm interested to see what's about to happen. <laughs> okay. What's happening? Oh, he died. Okay, well, neither of those were great, so let's try you. Okay, well this is good. Instinct seems to be the way they go then. Uh, did it lower any counters or is it just for this department? I think it's just for this department. Oh yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we're totally fine. Let's send you in again. And let's go ahead and buy the rest of this stuff. Okay, yeah, so we wanna do, we wanna do instinct. Hmm. 
Okay, its name is Nameless Fetus, and it is an HE. Alright. What's this counter? Well, I guess we're gonna find out in a second, aren't we? And what is its range? 14 to 18, so it's not great, but it's, I mean, it's definitely... It's definitely manageable. It is a 1, okay. It's not really even got that much stuff that I would want. All right. Well, we know what we need to know about that one, so let's keep it in mind, I suppose. But let's just move forward. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do this one again. Uh, let's not make that mistake this time, though. Let's send you in with instinct instead. Uh, and let's just go ahead and start going for it. Morgan, I'd like to get you to the point where we can send you in here and not have to worry. You two... Brian, you can work over here. Riker, you can work over here. Nice job. Um, well, let's go ahead and get this. I mean, I'd like to keep an eye on the counter, even though it's one. <laughs> uh, Rachel, let's send you up here. Well, Lauren, let's send you in here. We work you again. I don't think so. Maybe we do. It doesn't go down, so we still have the same chance. Nice job. Um, Carly, let's give you a little bit. Morgan, we go ahead and send you back in, though. Nice job. We can work you again. Hmm. We work you, too. Do we give somebody the blessing? We could, but I don't think I want to. Let's 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 pause on that. Uh, this is gonna put us one away. So after this, we're gonna need to wait. Right. Oh God. I sent you in for the wrong one. I'm an idiot. That's completely on me. It's gonna go down. That's okay, though. We can manage him if he escapes. Yeah, that's fine. It's annoying, but it's okay. We got it. I completely sent you in for the wrong one. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is gonna put us in a meltdown, though. Let me go ahead, because I don't actually want to deal with you. Uh, let's just uh, say goodbye. Okay, well, I guess I have to use another one. That kind of sucks. There's three, so... Let's go ahead and do it with you two. Just to save us some heartache. Who have we got? Easy. Easy. We're almost in... Another a piece of gear. It's unfortunate that it doesn't have a full suit. It's unfortunate that it only has the weapon. I hope that the weapon's at least good. Um, that would be that would be cool if you know. I mean, it was actually worth my time. <laughs> but uh, I mean, another piece of alif isn't bad. We'll probably give it to Rachel, honestly. Yeah, we'll probably give it to Rachel. It's about time she gets a boost. Hmm. Okay, we're fine. send you guys in. We can work you as well. Uh, either of you guys are fine. Weird Joe, you got it. Brian, you got it. Lauren, you got it. Rachel, you got it. Yeah. Make sure I sent her in the right one. I think we're fine. Oh, it's... Whew. I almost want to send the rabbits to get him. <laughs> I almost want to see if they'd be able to. 
Yeah, we've got everything for you. We are going to read a story today because I, once again, have been neglecting those. Um, uh, who do we do, though? We could do... I, we could do this whole section, actually. We might do that. We might do this entire section over here. That one's, that one's not very long. And yours isn't very long either. We'll do this whole section. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so this is the abnormality story record for Mountain of Smiling Bodies. It's not like these kinds of happenings are uncommon here, but one day, dozens of employees were killed in an accident. The reason is the same as always. Something breaches, they attempt to stop it, then it leads to another breach. The one, the one fortunate thing was that the department was sealed off before things could get any worse. So they all died in the same place. Literally, a mountain of bodies was formed. Obviously, no one wanted to clean up that mess. Normally, it should have been taken care of within the day, but because the accident was so horrific and everyone was so exhausted, the cleanup was delayed with authorization from the Department of Fire. Don't ask me which department it was in, I don't remember all the details. When left out in the open, a corpse will begin to rot within a few hours. Most of the bodies that die here are damaged in one way or another, so they decay even faster. You probably don't know it yet, but most of the employees here are rather skilled at cleaning up dead bodies. Hiding up over and over will make anyone an expert at it, whether you want to or not. Let's say someone you were just talking to about dinner plans died horrifically. With your repeated experience to help you, you won't be vomiting or running away at least. Whoops, I sidetracked a little there. Anyway, in normal, uh, in normal circumstances, the mountain would have, would have been removed quickly, but it remained in the department for quite a long time. So it decayed, melted, corroded, and broke down following the laws of nature. That's how its creation began, from the mountain of bodies. The dead, the dead gave life to something. Amazed yet? I've still got more to tell you. The dead fused with one another, all smiling, sharing body parts. At least those that were still intact, they became each other's legs and mouths. That doesn't mean their consciousness has also been restored, though. It only wants one thing, our flesh drenched in blood. When there's an announcement of someone's death, the first thing you should do is check if the thing's quarantined. Once it gets a whiff of the scent, it will pursue us in an instant. The smiling faces are unfamiliar, yet sorrowful. The more bodies it comes across, the more defined its shape becomes, and it is never satisfied. I'm telling you all this because it's almost here. Accidents always happen in this place. Some may spare a bit of their time for a moment of silence, but most will turn away thinking, again? At the very least, one thing that was done right is that the department's been sealed off. I'm the only one left anyways. Did you learn anything from my story? What kind of lesson can be learned from a story as horrible as this, you ask? It's similar to most fairy tales. Don't be lazy, is the lesson. When my voice ceases, come here and clean up your colleagues in exactly three minutes. Pretty soon I won't be able to keep talking. I'm about to swallow a large bomb. Time's running out. Blood is flowing all over, all around here. I'm starting to see the smiling faces now. Something you don't see much of around here. Don't be surprised when you hear a loud explosion. Like I said, it's precisely three minutes. I'm sure a bomb this size will be able to suppress it. The last body it finds will be mine. Wow. That's a cool story. <laughs> That's a cool story. Interesting, interesting. All right, next we have uh, Dimensional Refraction Variant. It was a strange phenomenon. It was a phenomenon in and of itself. There was nothing within the unit that could be detected with the naked eye. Just like those who had made similar claims some time ago, just because something cannot be seen does not mean, is do does not mean it doesn't exist. The containment unit's square length was uh, X meters, and this is the cognitive range of the abnormality. The only advice that can be given is to remain cautious and aware of your surroundings. Breathing will become impossible within the with while within range of the abnormality. The area will become a vacuum. Strictly speaking, the abnormality itself is a vacuum phenomenon. Uh, record of the death of employee Chomsky. There was no way to confirm if the abnormality had left its containment unit or not. All of a sudden, Chomsky had stopped in the middle of the corridor and just stood there. The hallway was busy at the time, with many a person passing by, and of course many of these people expressed their discontent for having a part of the hallway blocked. Then, all of a sudden, Chomsky's body suddenly rose over three meters into the air. His arms and legs were awkwardly stretched just as out, just as he was being crucified. If his legs had still been on the ground, he might have looked as if he were performing in an elegant play or doing ballet. Everyone in the hallway stopped to look at him, and Chomsky started to scream. He screamed like a madman who had witnessed something horrifying. Some, nobody knew what to do. Some of our employees attempted to pull Chomsky down by the legs. He didn't budge. After that, Chomsky stopped screaming. A short silence followed, and Chomsky opened his mouth, attempting to mutter something. The two employees who were trying to pull Chomsky down started to scream. Blood poured down from his body. His arms and legs separated, leaving his limbless body floating in the air. All hell broke loose in the hallway, and everybody began running. 
I don't recognize this abnormality as a matter that needs to be discussed further. Currently, we are researching ultraviolet technology that may be able to detect the abnormality using the eyes of shrimp. The performance so far has been far from satisfactory. For now, a good method is to have employees entering its containment unit bring a glass cup filled only halfway with water. They will need to place this cup on the floor while working. If the cup begins to slosh, threatening to spill over, the employee must stop working and leave the unit immediately. Alright, that's pretty cool. It is quite an annoying abnormality, I must say. Uh, and now, finally, we have the Night of Despair. Which, um, yeah, okay. Just wanted to double check we did have the full story. An abnormality of despair that has gone through a repeated cycle of faith and betrayal, leaving only the emotion that is expressed through blank tears. A hero of the past who used to be a guardian of justice. She dedicated her entire life to protect the king, the state, the city, and the weak. The knight had to uphold the laws of God in the pursuit of valor, chivalry, and justice. However, after a long history fraught with hardship and conflict, the knight realized in retrospect that nothing was truly upheld on her watch. The truth changed a lot of people. One who fought for good became evil upon realizing there was no evil left in the world. One who dreamed of a world where everybody could be happy was tinged with greed and started to devour everything. Like them, so many things once thought to be forever constant, thought to be forever constant, faced changes and perished. Who said a knight never cries? Have you ever seen tears brought out by despair, not sadness? The endless stream of grief has long turned the eye sockets into hollow husks. Inside, black diamonds sometimes fall down like ashes. The will to protect seems to remain unchanged after all this time. Even in containment, it is still obsessed with the act of protection. All that remains is the hollow pride of a weathered knight. The tenacity of the hero who cannot leave the past behind is a pitiful sight. When justice turns his back once more, several dozen blades will rove without a purpose. In shame of failing to defend once again, and in rage against the world, the swords will eventually point at those she could not protect. The knight wanted to redeem herself by saving others was now dishonorably called the Knight of Despair, forgotten from the, from, forgotten from the people's memory, just like the others. Oh, wowee. It's also a pretty cool story. Uh, I did pause halfway through because I did re uh, remember that we uh, actually have a time limit now. Um, but yeah, so those are the stories for today. Uh, we should have done all those. We've done you. We've done you. We've done you guys... So that leaves this area, and then you, and then we're caught up. So that is for tomorrow. Uh, but for now, in the meantime, let us continue working on the regular day. Hmm. Where, Joe, you got it? Hmm. Lazarus, you got it. Oh boy. Missed that a little bit. That's alright. You guys both got it. Um, Brian, you go up and get it. Riker, you go down and get it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you can go down here. You can go down here too. You guys got this one. I want you to suppress, yes. You guys got this one. You guys got this one. Okay. So yeah, we're looking in a second. Uh, Morgan, go up and get it. Yep, and Carly helps suppress. Okay, we're fine. Oh boy. Go get it. Don't let it let this thing out. Okay, we're fine. I think we should work it again. I think we should work you again, too. Still do have a high. Uh, we work you again. We work you again. We work you again. We work you. Lawrence, you got it. We work you. Uh, Beep, I think you got it. We can not work you, but we can work you. Um, you've got it. 
and then you've got it. Punishing Prairie Brook that's okay. Totally fine, totally fine. We're probably not going to finish this day in time. Let's give Carly another second, and we can send her back in. Uh, I would like to be able to finish this day if we can. Brian, you got it. Riker, you got it. Let's tr let's let's okay. Let's try our best to do it. Let's not plan for not doing it. Let's try our best to do it. Beep, you can probably go back in. Uh, let's just assign a bunch of people to get a bunch of energy real quick. Want you worked? Like you worked too. We could get more from him than we could from her. If we just don't worry about what we want to get. Okay, so we have a high. Hmm. I think I'll I think I'll hold off. We can work you too. Okay, we've got a couple meltdowns. Where are they? Okay, it's this section of uh, and you. I'm not working you. I can work you. Uh, I'm not gonna work you either, because you're unnecessary. That should be all of them, right? We don't have any up here anymore. And you. Okay, so when this one's done, and when this one's done, I need to send them back in. We're not gonna get this mission done in time. That's okay. Kinda sucks, but what can you do? Punching Bird is such an annoying sound to listen to. Got it. Got it. Uh, unimportant. Ooh, you escaped. Okay. Um. You gotta go after it. Oh, boy, this is not good. Okay, you gotta go up and help. Brian, you have to work over there. Or could we send Lauren in? We're gonna send Lauren in. Brian, you're gonna go help. Riker, when you're done, you need to go help. You need to go help. Carly, you're almost done. You need to go help. Riker, you're almost done. You need to go help. And slow down. We could send the rabbits. They take a lot of energy, though. And I wanted to try and finish. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go ahead and finish this off so I don't forget. Okay. We're not going to finish this day in time. That's okay. We could just work and ignore it and get a bunch of energy. We could do that. I don't know if that's the... I don't know if that's the play or not. Well, let's see how things are looking in a second. He's gonna escape. Uh, you guys need to hurry up. He's about to get out, like, two seconds. You need a shield. Yeah, okay. Carly, where are you? Okay, you need to solo... Smiling bodies. Everybody- oh god. Rachel, you might die. Rachel, tap out. Okay, we're okay. You guys stop and finish him. Oh god. Okay. This is okay right now. Slow down. Okay, where'd, uh, where'd she go? Is she up here? Or is she still down here? If she's down here, then we're okay. You guys move up and help. You guys move down and help. You're the most important one right now. I think you'll be okay. How are you looking? Okay, you guys should get it. Oh, Rachel died. Did we get you? Where'd you move to? Oh boy. Okay, never mind. You guys move back. Hmm. 
There's no reason for us to continue this day. There's no reason for us to continue this day. We lost Rachel. We didn't even finish the mission. It isn't in our best interest to finish right now. I think the most important thing that we got was the Aleph weapon, but we can do that again pretty easily. Uh, I'd rather focus on this. So we're going to do that. We're going we're gonna to focus on finishing the time limit. So we got to work as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm going to sign everything while it's paused. Because we're wasting valuable time if we're not. Okay. Okay. Got it. You've 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 got it. What do I want to send him in for? Okay, yeah, you've got it. Keep it in my sight. I want to work you too. What are the meltdowns? You. Oh boy. And you. That's pretty easy. We can do that. Yeah, you got it. Lawrence died. Oh boy. I had it in my sight the whole time. It must have just been... I mean, it must have just been a bad go, I guess. We got it. We got it. Alright, take two. Just kidding, it's more like take four at this point. Pause. What went wrong? He has a high. It deals black. He's weak to black. That doesn't help. He probably couldn't live as it is. We're gonna do it anyways. Lawrence, I know that you can do that. Yeah, you're fine to go in there, and then you're fine to go in here. Okay. What are these meltdowns? You. You and what? Um, I don't see any other ones, so it must have been one that was melting down and then we just ran into it. I forgot to use the bullets. Okay, that's bad on me. Uh, who can we send into here? Queen of Hatred is already out. That's annoying. So if she goes into that stage and then you don't finish... Wow, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's, uh, well, I mean, it's good to know moving forward, but it kind of sucks that that's how it is. You go help. All of you guys go help. Okay, everybody on the bottom left needs to go and help. Like, everybody needs to go help. And you need to slow down. Uh, well, I mean... No, she guys need to move. Not that way. Yeah, that way. Okay, suppress. Do as much as you can right now. Nice. That's good damage. Where'd you move to? Up here, that sucks. You guys all need to move. Over to here. Okay, we need to execute. 
boy, we're just gonna have to... Okay. Uh, get into the elevator, please. Oh my... This is such a bad... This is such a bad couple of days that we're having. The difficulty hasn't even ramped up. I'm just not doing well. It's been 30 minutes of me restarting. I apologize, you guys. We, uh, we have to... I mean, we have to keep trying. I'd like to be able to do the time limit, if possible. It's not looking likely at this rate, though. Get it going. Punishing bird got out. Let me go ahead and do this. So I don't forget. Uh, let me do another one just in case. Did it count? Did I get it in time? Okay, I need to make sure that you're on my site. Did I get it in time? I think you're, I think you're okay. That's nice. Alright, let's wait. everybody to finish, and then I'm just going to pause it and send everybody back in. We do have meltdowns, though. What are they? You. And that's the only one I see. I think we're okay. Okay, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. I mean, we, I guess we can go ahead and use you. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Rachel, you got it. Rachel, you got it. We'll send Lauren in here. Let's go ahead and work everybody again. Yep. Yep. Charlie needs a minute. Yep. Um, we could, but it's not looking. It's not looking too hot. Yep. And, yeah. Yes. No. Yes. 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 And, yes. Maybe. No. Let's trade that out. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's good for me. Let's wait for this one, too, and then we can send Riker in. Uh, let me go ahead and pop a couple of employees, too. One, two, three, we're fine. Oh, oh god, I thought, I thought she, Oh boy, I thought I just killed her with that bullet. Okay, no, we're fine. Where are these guys? These are not the bad ones, so I'm not really worried. You can go down there and get it. I didn't give you a weapon. Oh, I did give you a weapon. I'm an idiot. I thought that was the regular baton. Uh, you can go up here and get this one. There's one up here. Carly, you can run up and grab it. Uh, Riker, you can come down here, and where Joe... Where's the one in here? Like, where's the second one of these? Probably going through. Maybe not. Alright, that's fine. You go down there and get that one. I think that's all of them. Well, I mean, we'll find out in a second, won't we? Oh, there's one right here, too. Uh, as soon as you're done, I need you over here. After him. Should be all of them. We have one down here, but I think you got it. And we're totally fine. Everybody back. 
Everybody back. Go ahead and do it right now before I forget. Uh, you didn't get hit. There we go. Okay. Okay. Got it. Beat. Got it. Caitlin got it. Anne got it. Eel got it. Gotta wait for you to cool down. We can do you, though. You've got it. No. I do that every time. You've got it. You've got it. Uh-huh. Carly, you got it. Uh, Rachel, Lauren, Ryan, Riker. I guess I'll send somebody else in. Demo, you got it. That's okay. Everything looking fine. We're about to have a couple of meltdowns. That's totally okay. Easy. Not gonna do you. We can do you. We can do both of those. We're not gonna do you. There shouldn't be anything. Yeah. So let's wait. Uh, we can go ahead and send Mori back in here. That one's gonna be rough though. We can't send Carly back into here. Who could we send in? We'll probably send. Well, it does black. You have the best resistance to black out of all of our employees. Ryan could probably handle it. I don't know if I want to find out, though. You have, like, a point two, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, Carly, you just wait on the top level right here. I'm going to give you as much time as I can, and then we're just going to throw you back in. I just can't forget about it. That one I'm not doing. Okay, let's wait. we got to make sure... She's a, like a stable bit of health. Okay, one more heal and then I'm sending you in. Okay, you're fine. I think we're okay. We're doing fantastic on time. I'm going to continue to work quickly though. some of you guys up here. Um, magical, magical girl, you've got it. Freya, you've got it. Beep, you've got it. I'm not sending anybody in there. We can work you, though. Yeah, and you've got it. Caitlin, you've got it. Let's pop a couple employees. Uh, one... Two, three. That's fine. We have an ordeal coming up. We should be okay. Do I just tell everybody to hold off? Maybe I do. It is a noon. Which one is this one? This is the, uh, okay, this is the one that splits off into the guys. Hmm. I think we're okay. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay. Let's send... Let's send everybody on the top to work on it and keep everybody on the bottom down. Who's available? Let's slow it down, first of all. I need to be careful, though, health-wise. Lawrence, you should be fine. He deals what, right? Give you a red shield. Okay, where'd they move to? We've got one over here. Kill you, go up and get it. We have one down here. Brian, you go get it. We have one over here. Both of you guys run and get it. 
I think that's all of them. Brian, you gotta hurry though. Uh, Morgan, you go help. Okay, nice. Nice. Waiting on... Okay, nice, we did it. And we're done with the day. Absolutely fine. Nice work, nice work. Peel level 5. You'll love to see it. Lazarus level 5. Awesome, awesome. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, so we have abnormality time. Uh, I'm ready for it. Okay, we have O-02-101. Uh, those who, su who succeed in the hunt are granted with one of the very feathers that countless hunters once yearned for. Interesting. We have T-02-43. Unsurprisingly, not a single employee uh, volunteered to retrieve the corpse of their cocooned colleague. And we have T-02-71. Tell the kid today's treat is going to be grape-flavored candy. Grape-flavored candy. It's his favorite. Uh, let's go with this one. That one sounds cool. Hello, Angela. I keep on calling you A, but I think you and A might have been might have become separate entities now. From the moment you began to have new memories, you both started to walk different paths. I must wonder how the memories separated you from A. Well, even if you two have differences, it is still important for you to witness this place through A's eyes. Why do we repeat this eternal cycle, enduring endless suffering? What's at the end of the line? What kind of world was it that he saw? The answers to these questions are what you must know. However, the choices you make are up to you, not him. As a consequence of those choices, you may lose it all, or you may gain everything. I'm not trying to control you. I just try to support you. That is my role here. Plus, I have seen many other exes who have made it this far and witnessed the innumerable amount of effort and failures they've made. Now you are here, scrabbling over it all and climbing up. Of course, I have kept all their data in my head, but it is not my place to share it with you. A machine has its own work to do. That's what you, or A, once said to me. Okay. Uh, well, hello, she said. Well, it seems you did all right. Looks like you're not as useless as they say. Try not to overdo it though, okay? Manager, you've accomplished quite a few things already. What you've already gone through will have lengthened the lives of our employees by at least some degree. So, you should hopefully be satisfied now. It's not that I can't see from your point of view. You came to Lobotomy Corporation, and you probably want to put forth your best efforts to mold this place into something better. But this place is just like a cup of coffee gone cold ages ago. I get that it's a strange comparison, but that's how it is for me. It'd be better off for all of us in the end if I were to at least feign our noble and benevolent posture now, wouldn't it? The same goes for you, manager. I said it before. There's no need to invest your emotions and effort into such drivel. Uh, well, I'll have to rebuke you there. Alright, alright. Suit yourself, Mr. Passionate. I will say that I'm curious how long that fire in your heart will last. I'll get going now. I'm actually quite busy, even though I seem relaxed. Lady Angela, please have a look at this. I spent the whole night researching an efficient method to improve the welfare of our employees. Huh, that's funny. Just look who's talking. Okay. Huh, you're better than I expected. How about we raise the bar a little? I expect you'll do a great job just like before. Finish the day within the allotted time limit. Yeah, we got it. Uh, okay, well, here's B, I guess. Hello, B. Welcome, A. I missed you dearly. I have been waiting for you ever since the first day I started working here. Do you remember this ocean? You said that this place is where everything from all rivers and streams will eventually settle. Okay. Well, it's, uh, Hakma. I... <laughs> Alright, I need to prepare the voice. I need to prepare the voice. As such, at the lowest layers, everything sinks. What do you think of this heaven painted laboriously white with plaster? I knew you would come here soon. Please think of it as my welcoming gift to you. I figured that what you longed to see may have been something else than I, what I have become now. Time is like a scythe. It relentlessly attempts to trim, divide, and cleave in twain the clasping at the hands of those you love. Everyone I loved is now gone, leaving me 
a tired old man behind. Please do not blame yourself. Back then were the brightest moments of my life. The only thing I regret to this day is that I was too scared. I ran without keeping my abiding promise to you to the very end. However, you eventually found me and helped me to fulfill my promise here. How can I ever be more thankful than I am right now? You're just too kind to me. Kind to the very end. Oh, alright. Uh, the growth of each employee here is based upon the four virtues, and such growth is applied in reality. I wonder where the limit to them lies. First, fortitude comes from strength, forbearance, and instinctive desire. No one knows if this aspiration will become a power to protect everyone or a weapon to satisfy one's own greed. Clear the day with three or more employees whose fortitude is a hundred or more, I'm assuming. Alright, well, record team, let's go. Quite exciting, quite exciting. Uh, we are going to continue this episode. We are going to go through another day. Uh, it's going to be a little bit longer of an episode. I apologize, but uh, I feel like you guys are owed a little bit more. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, recovery bullets. Okay, you'll love to see that. What is this? Okay, the recovery of the bullets will be increased. Well, I think I'd like to start with HP recovery bullets because that seems to be the problem that we face the most often. And we do have the core suppression available now. Ooh, okay. Okay. We should be able to get this one right now. We have several employees who are maxed. Um. Yeah, I mean, you're completely maxed out. You should also be. Yeah. Uh, you two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not worried in the slightest. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and jump into this day, I guess. We do have new abnormality, I'm excited to see. Uh, well, excited probably isn't the right word. Uh, I'm interested to see. That's better. Okay. That looks kind of cool. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, so this is probably a VOB. Antonius, you got it. Let's see what happens. I don't even know which one I picked. Insight? No, attachment. Okay. Well, that was wrong. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty cool. Actually, attachment isn't awful. It takes a long time to finish the work, though, I am noticing. Oh, yeah, we have seven out of three employees. Nice. What can we learn? Let's go ahead and get these guidelines. Okay. When another abnormality escaped in the department, in which it was contained, the cliff of counter lowered. When it was good, the cliff of counter lowered. When it was normal, it lowered with a normal or with a low probability. The lower the cliff of counter, the more damage they take while working on it. When it was bad, it increased. Okay, that's very odd. That's very odd. Let's try something else, I guess. Uh, I'm probably going to restart after this day ends. Well, okay, not after this day ends, but after I, like, work with it a little bit more. Uh, we want to figure out which one is bad. It definitely is not this one. Okay, they're all going to be common, aren't they? Let's try Insight. Nice. I think Insight's, I think insight's the way to go. I think Insight's the way to go. Um, maybe we don't need to restart this day. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to send everybody to work. I'm going to go ahead and kill a couple employees. Who do I want to... Uh, you. Uh, you. And you. You picked a uh, bad day to be in this department, my friends. Riker got it. Brian got it. Weird Joe got it. Lazarus got it. Rachel got it. Lauren got it.
Yeah, you guys have got it. Okay, that should be fine. That should be fine. It's gonna put us into a meltdown, but that's like totally fine. I'm not worried. What's melting down? You're melting down. Who else? And you're melting down. That's okay. Insight and then, um, what's it called? Insight as well, right? This is bad. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Hmm, that's okay. We know what to do now. We know what to do now. We just need to do insight on this guy. I'm not worried. Not worried. That was my bad. Pause. Start assigning work. Freya. Um. Magical girl. <sighs> Beep. I'm not going to work with you. Well, maybe I can. Let's send Lawrence in again. He did it fine the one time. I think I just, I need to be careful where I'm positioned. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. Harley, you've got it. Please, you've got it. Uh, we're Joe. Lazarus. Ryan. Riker. Riker. Rachel, you've got it. You've got it. Got it. Okay. Kill a couple employees. You. Uh, you two. That should be plenty. That should be three. Should be fine now. Okay, careful. Careful. I need to keep the camera right here. Don't move. Okay, you're melting down. That kind of sucks. Who else is melting down? You're melting down. I'm not worried about you either. The tools I literally don't actually care about anymore. Okay, I need to wait till Riker is done and then send him into here. Uh, Lawrence, are you gonna die? Um, Riker, please hurry up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Lawrence, you made it out alive. That's more than I was expecting. Um, we're like a fourth of the way there. Let's go ahead and pause. Let's go ahead and assign more people. Let's go ahead and kill a couple employees. You. You. Um, you. Goodbye. Okay, work time. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I don't want to send you in again. I'll send you up here. Um, you've got it this time. And then you can do that one. I gotta wait for you. No, not me to press that. I meant to click off of that, thank you. And I don't want you to unpause my game. Okay, Carly, you're fine. You're back in. Uh, Brian, you can go in here. Maybe not, though. We are about to hit a meltdown. I say as I continue to assign people work. Okay. Insight's the way to go. Let's see where this is. Okay. You two got it. Got one right here. I can send you up. Let's split you guys up. We got a couple over here. Weird Joe, you can get this one. Rachel, you pause and go down there. Brian, you pause and get this one. 
we have one right here and one right there. Um, where are you? You can go up back and get this. Then we gotta wait on the rest. That's okay, though. Lawrence, as soon as you're done, I need you right here. Um, you guys go up and get this one, because I'm afraid that we're not going to make it in time. I've gotten all the other ones on the bottom layer. Yeah, we're fine. You can get this guy. And you two move down. But it's not an issue, because we got it. Nice work. Pause and assign people. We can work you again. I don't want to, though. We can, but I don't want to. I'll work you again, though. Uh, let's go ahead and pop a couple employees. I missed. That's annoying. Perfectly good bullet gone to waste. Okay, we have we have something coming up though. So let's not let's not work super hard. Okay, let's just pause here. See what we're looking like. Cuz we'll need to handle this ordeal. And I don't want to work. Well, we can work you. You can go back in. Let's go ahead and get the weapon too. But I don't forget about that. Probably you can go in. That'll be the last one that we do for right now. No, we can do one more. You can work magical, girl. Okay, cool. Uh, and now we'll wait. Because this one's not hard, but it's annoying. Go ahead and kick it off. Where is it going to spawn? I don't know why it always spawns up here, but it does. I want you guys, you guys. I want everybody on it, but just everybody down on the lower levels. That should be fine. Get you guys a shield. And slow you down. I don't even think it's hitting you guys. Ah, uh, we way overkilled it. Okay, where are they moving to? You guys get this one. Any more up here? Yes. You guys get this one. There's gotta be one down here then. Sure is. And you've got it. I think that's it. Nice work. Nice work, everybody. Okay, pause, assign. Let's kill some employees. Okay, that's nice. We got them all done. Got it. Got it. Got it. And got it. Brian, Riker. Morgan. Antonius. Okay. Work the upper layers too, no reason not to. Magical girl, Freya. Beat. Ariza. Eel. that's good. We're going to finish well within the allotted time limit. Got a couple meltdowns. 
that one's annoying, but manageable. Um, I mean, it's pretty much everything that we'd be working anyways, except for you. Emo, you've got it, though. Okay, I need to wait for Riker to finish. I could send Brian in, I guess. We'll do that. Brian, you've got it. Because I'm just going to send Riker back in here. Lauren. You wait up on the top, because I'm going to send you in. Got it. Oh, boy. He's going to let this one out, isn't he? Unless we give it a sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we wait a minute and see what happens. We, we are almost able to end this day. I think that's the play. I think that is the play. Right, I'd rather... <sighs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going to end the day in a second. Oh, boy. Okay, get over there. Okay, get over there. Okay, we need literally one more person to finish. Ah, uh, somebody please finish quickly. Oh, please, thank you. We are good. Okay. Nice work, nice work. Um, deep level 5. That's about the biggest, though. Uh, we completed two missions. Pretty solid. And it's abnormality time. Best time of the day. Uh, we do have... We do have another backer one. Uh, let's see. D-03-109. And my dear employees, I do hope you all put the gas mask... Uh, okay, let me start that over. And my dear employees, I do hope you all put on the gas mask we distributed to you before we enter. We have T-04-50. If you feel an abdominal pain and a tingling sensation in your neck, the best thing you can do now is look at the great blue sky you'll never get to see again. Okay, that sounds uh, not great. We have O-04-66. Even if this turns to be a curse, I will love this curse like a blessing. Um, that one sounds kind of cool. I kind of want to do the backer one, though. What was the last backer one that we had? Pode, right? Let's, let's go with the backer one. Let's go with the backer one. Okay, hello, Angela. Thankfully, you've been collecting energy every... Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Thankfully, you've been collecting energy ever since your very first day here, never missing a single day. My role is to encourage you to collect the proper amount of energy each day, sometimes by nagging, and sometimes by encouraging you with praise. It must have been hard to adapt to the corporation, but you tried your best to extract the energy, along with bearing the numerous sacrifices along the way. It was also my role to butter you up with plain words, to help you avoid sinking into the pit of guilt. This part was particularly irritating because your nanny wasn't in my programming, but we were still able to fulfill our roles anyhow. You might have noticed this earlier, if you ever took a moment to look deeper into this company. But the pipelines used to transmit energy to the outside haven't worked for a long time. Right now, they are very rusty. This means the energy collected from our branch is excluded from the total energy collected by Lobotomy Corporation. Isn't it fascinating? Don't be too upset. I'm not saying that all the energy you collected was for nothing. Well, now there is one more thing for you to find out. Where does all that energy go? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, that I hadn't actually considered until you just said it. <laughs> uh, hello again, she said. You've done it yet again. Lady Angela must have showered you with praise for your work, right? Your efforts will contribute to shaping this place into something better. Uh, he apparently speaks with a sarcastic voice of dignity. Such glorious, yet boring platitudes. I myself had a burning passion in the past. Being responsible for a whole department. How charming is that? I hadn't even acquired a taste for coffee back then. Should I say I developed that taste after learning the bitterness of life? Or rather, I didn't feel like sleeping anymore. Of course, none of the Sapphira need to sleep at all, but it's for the mood, you know? One time, I even insisted on managing the abnormalities myself. I thought that only allowing employees on the field was plain ridiculous. It seems pretty absurd to look back on it now. 
You must be asking yourself, why have I become like this? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh boy. Well, here is a uh, young man, she said. He looks a lot better than he does now. <laughs> uh, he's not tired, so I can't use the tired voice. Lady Angela, please have a look at this. I spent the whole night researching an efficient method to improve the welfare of our employees. She said, what did you write up this time? I told you that this will change nothing. But please, just look it over. This does have a statistically proven impact, and it even costs less. This will be beneficial for everyone. Listen, she said, no matter how strongly you insist, using machines in place of human employees will never happen. Why is that? I've explained it to you before. It wouldn't replace humans entirely, simply those who take place in dangerous jobs. It's clear that it will benefit everyone. The casualties caused by abnormalities will be lowered, too. How many times do I have to repeat myself? No the first time, and no yet again. Return to your post and finish your work. I'll never give up on this. I swear to you that you will like the plan in the end. I'll keep developing and furthering it, and I'll continue to show you again and again, no matter how many times I may have to. Oh, it's Tifereth. She said, regarding the incident where the abnormality... Okay. She said, regarding that incident where the escaped abnormality wiped out all eight of your team, a few of our employees have made the suggestion to temporarily close down that part of the corridor. There are body parts that still have yet to be disposed of. Alright, I'll order it to be blocked, and have them take detours. Manager, you heard what she said, right? I need to get going. Told you I'm busy. Well, it'll be alright. Hey now, don't give me a look like that. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Surely that abnormality had knocked them out before disintegrating them. Um, yeah, I'm sure it was a painless death. Uh, preventing accidents and mopping up after whatever passes is always up to us. Finishing the workday quickly means we just get a bit of time to mop up everything. Finish the day with the allotted time limit. Yeah, we got it. I'm not worried. Oh, okay, hello again, Hakma. Are we managing to get closer to our goal? On the contrary to what people say, it appears that aging does not necessarily bring greater wisdom. Just look at this old man, going through what feels like an endless cycle of intermittent greed, the obsession over things that have passed, pointless regret, now trapped in a routine of staring at the iron hands of time without reason. By the way, I have always wanted to ask you something. I notice you wear a sad expression on your face each time one of your employees dies. Just as I have become an old man, no human being is free from the cycle of life and death. As our research was to cure the disease, not to live forever. How about an example? Do you remember that one employee? The one who was nice and upfront with you? He passed away recently. When he received the letter that he was accepted in a lobotomy corporation, he never would have expected to meet such a futile demise. If I wanted, I could have brought him back to you. But I did not. It is, in the, it is in the order of this place that an empty spot shall always soon be filled. Did you finally discover the secret to this place? Lives are trivial here. The tenuous hold on life can be severed so easily, and yet many come back as if nothing happened. We reached a point in which we don't even need to mourn their deaths. An employee who died just yesterday may come back from my simple call, and another employee may, have never, may never open their eyes again from a single wave of my hand. That is what death means here, eh? It is neither honorable nor noble, nor it is miserable or cruel like we may think it to be. So please, don't punish yourself too much. I do not wish to see you suffer from a personal and insignificant thing. For the future will bring you much more pain to bear. Uh, okay, finish, uh, clear the day with five or more employees whose prudence is a hundred or more. What is rationality? We see and analyze things, uh, we see and analyze through the eyes of rationality. However, its prowess and usage differs from person to person. Crude prudence blinds you to your true worth and the circumstances around you, and excessive prudence morphs into a knife that cuts you. You must be soundly rational when you observe this world and its people. Yeah, we got it. We got it, we got it. Unfazed, unworried. Ah, uh, excited. Excited. Tomorrow's plan is Tifereth. Now that that's available to us. I hope it's not gonna make us do a midnight ordeal with the Tifereth suppression. Like, I hope that's not why it was making us wait. Uh, let's do this one. Yeah, I hope that that's... Okay. Oh, boy. Ooh. Okay. Um. Let's go with Fortitude. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So now these guys are no longer maxed. I am assuming not. I am assuming not. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome, I must say. Um, okay, well, we have a new abnormality, so let's take a look at that. 
Uh, yeah, and then the goal for tomorrow is suppressed Tifrit. I think we got it, though. I'm not really worried. All right. Uh, okay, we do have no abnormality. Uh, there it is. It looks interesting. Okay. Oh, and you let people out. <laughs> oh, don't you? Okay. All right. How many guidelines do you have? You have quite a bit of guidelines. Okay. We're gonna need to move some people around. I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. I upload Lobotomy Corporation every single day at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, yeah, as always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Uh, and I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I know I messed up that outro a little bit, but, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit distracted. <laughs> I'm a little bit distracted. Let me take that from the top. Let me take that from the top. As always, I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next episode. So long, everybody. <laughs>